Hey, Jeff Coleman here. Just thought I'd check back in with you real quick while I'm in my car. <laughs> Welcome to email number two. So, um, the first email that I sent to you just kind of give you a um, idea of what to expect going forward. Uh, um, and this this one, um, this video message, I just want to give you an idea of, of who I am, my background, just so you can have an idea of who, you, who exactly you're working with. Um, so, to kick things off, to let you know, uh, pretty much a, a normal working uh, corporate type guy that I was. Uh, my background, I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Um, my family, just like many other families here in the U.S., uh, we had tough times. I remember um, uh, at times where the gas was shut off, we was living in Chicago, uh, and, and, and my sister and I, we used to, you know, I, I remember vividly, we used to wear our coats and and play video games. So, so we, granted, we still had electricity, but we had no gas, uh, which means in Chicago, no heat. So we he used space heaters, um, talking uh, boiling water to take baths or, or not showers because it's too cold just to wash up. Um, fast forward, uh, of course, you know, hit the job scene. I worked in corporate America for many years. I mentioned before my background is accounting. So I'm a no-nonsense type of guy. Uh, I believe that numbers don't lie. So what you are going to find from me going forward is that um, I'm not the type of person that's full of hype and salesy. Uh, that's not me. Uh, although I do get hyped and excited about many things, especially when it comes to making money. Um, and But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I won't call myself a realist. Well, I am a realist, but... It's more of, I, I really like to do analysis and, and see numbers and see how things actually play out. You'll see me as a type of person with lots of charts and graphs and analysis and, and see does this, this things make sense. I guess you could say that I'm, from a business sense, I'm skeptical at first. got to prove to me that something works. Um, I do believe in possibilities, however, and with that I'm of a, a strong believer in personal development. One thing that I very strongly believe is that you you cannot you cannot make more money than your your mindset is ready to handle. Um, what I mean is, uh, you see stories all the time when people win the lottery and they get millions of dollars, and two years later they're broke again because their mindset is not ready to to handle that kind of money. Where me on the flip side, I've worked for everything that I that I've accomplished. You know, I, like I said, my background before with tough times and family. Fast forward. Uh, I've been in internet marketing for quite a while, uh, not a long time, but quite a while. I've learned lots of tips and tricks. I've learned uh, quite a bit from network marketing. I've had many real estate investments, um, and I've, I've worked hard to, to gain all of that. So I do believe that that work pays off. Consistent work pays off, and smart work pays off. Um, you can work as many hours as you want in a manual job, manual labor, but you're never going to make a lot of money, no matter how hard you work. you got to be smart about it and work in a place where you can actually uh, gain commissions. I believe that's the strongest way to, to actually gain your money is pay, get paid for what you're actually worth. Uh, projects as opposed to a job or commissions as opposed to just a regular hourly wage or salary. Uh, so, so what you can expect from me is that I believe in working with people who are willing to put in work. Um, I'm not the type of person that, that stays on the phone, chit-chat, and all that kind of stuff. I, I'll get on the phone with people and say, hey, meet me so-and-so, we're talking person. Um, I'm, always, I'm always on my way to something, doing something. Even right now, uh, this video that you see recording here is probably going to cut off in about six minutes because I'm always on my way to, to doing something with my life because time is really all we have and it's precious. So... I believe that, that you should spend that time. It's the most valuable commodity that you have. So you should spend that time wisely. And then most importantly, doing something that you enjoy. So if I don't enjoy chit-chatting, don't be offended. It's not you, it's me. I just don't like spending a lot of time on the phone. I, I really don't. Unless we're talking money or some great ideas, I'd rather sit with you in person at an event and let's come out with some great ideas that we can have to make a ton of money. You're going to hear me talking about money a lot. My, my blog is about money and the reason why is not that I'm greedy or money hungry is that I've been on both ends of, of the spectrum I've been broke I told you I'm talking you know boiling water to wash my ass <laughs> broke 
um, to having the type of lifestyle where my wife and I, you know, didn't have to report to a boss and we would just pick up and go because it was just cold. Just, we were living in Northwest Indiana and I remember because we didn't have the pressure of a job, it snowed again. It was April around my birthday and we was like, oh man, forget this. We're tired of the snow and we just left. We just got on a highway and say, let's just drive south until it gets warm. True story. Ask Mila. And then we ended up in Chattanooga and we just spent you know, a couple of weeks just sightseeing around Tennessee. It was awesome. But that's the kind of freedom that money brings you. And even if you have a job, a job that you love, hopefully, um, more money gives you the options of saying, do I want to, you know, work this job that I hate or do I want to quit this job and get another job that doesn't pay as much because I have income coming in from my internet business that takes care of that. Maybe you actually want to be a teacher. Maybe you want to work in a bowling alley because you love bowling, but you know it doesn't pay a lot. You can have your internet business working for you, bringing in that extra income so you can enjoy working at a bowling alley if that's what you enjoy. Uh, and, that, and this is the kind of options that I'm talking about. Uh, just recently, my wife and I, we just came back from a trip from Mexico, and there was package options where you could choose to stay in a boutique hotel or what they call a baller suite at the uh, Six Star Resort, all-inclusive. So, of course, that option we took was going the baller suite because more money just simply brings you more options. And and lastly, just, just recently and right after that trip was um, um, my aunt passed away. Uh, we got the news as soon as we as soon as we got off the uh, off the plane, and we had to take a trip up to back up to Indiana. And I am I am just extremely grateful that my wife and I actually had the income and and, and the, the the freedom to say let's let's go up there and be with family and to help my mom out. Um, get through that tough time. That was her only sister. And my aunt was very close to me. And I remember the times I was working retail and something like that would happen and I had to depend on that job and, and I couldn't even get time off when my grandmother passed. And so it just kind of brings back to, to remind me of being I'm very grateful that having this type of internet business, this type of income that you can have come in, and I'm not talking about just being filthy rich, but I'm talking uh, income replacement so that you have an option of whether you want to work a job or not because you have an additional income coming in. So um, that's the type of person I am. I just want to give you an idea of who the type of person that you'll be working with. So I look forward to working with you, and I'll talk to you soon.